Hey, what's going on guys? Tiktesh here, back with another video. Now, we are all patiently waiting for AMD's Ryzen 7000 laptops to hit the Indian market. And I'm talking about the real Ryzen 7000, if you know what I mean. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about some important points that you must keep in mind before you go for buying any Ryzen 7000 laptops. Or at least try to help you figure out which Ryzen 7000 CPU you should opt for. But before that, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Also, join the Telegram community to engage in tech discussions and get alerted on the best deals the earliest. I'll catch you guys in Telegram, link in the description. Alright, with that said, let's get going. So, number one, Ryzen 7000 on laptops is not the same as Ryzen 7000 on desktops. So let's talk about AMD's new updated naming scheme for the laptop product stack and how confusing and misleading it can be for the potential buyer. So what AMD has essentially done is that they have made the first digit of their laptop product stack completely irrelevant. The first digit which is the most important digit and that generally represents the generation or the architecture of the CPU has been completely made irrelevant and it now represents the laptop you know uh, portfolio model year the portfolio model year of the CPU. Now how does that even make sense or like how does it or how is it even relevant to the buyer? And they are using 7 to represent the year 2023 so how are they going to represent the year 2026? They are going to run out of numbers. So it totally doesn't make sense but what you must keep in mind from now on is that the most important digit now is the third digit. The third digit represents what the first digit used to. The third digit represents the architecture. And Ryzen 7000 on desktop is based on the latest Zen 4 architecture, the latest and greatest from AMD. The same Zen 4 architecture for laptops is represented by the 7040 series. That is the third digit must be a 4. Whatever Ryzen 7000 laptops are currently floating in the market is not based on Zen 4. They are the 7030 series. The 3 represents Zen 3. They are essentially rebranded Ryzen 5000 and 6000 laptop CPUs. Now, Ryzen 5000 and 6000 are basically the same. They, they share the same architecture in terms of the CPU, the Zen 3 architecture. Now, the Zen 3 architecture is no slouch by any means in 2023, it is still great. But remember, the Zen 3 architecture at this point is over 2 years old. So please be careful and do not overpay for old products. Okay, now let's talk about the real Ryzen 7000, that is the 7040 series. So, Ryzen 7000 on laptops is split into two categories. Number one is the 7040HX and Dragon range and number two is the 7040HS Phoenix range and there is a big difference between the two. So let's talk about Dragon range. So the 7040HX Dragon range CPUs are nothing but the same exact Ryzen 7000 desktop chips built on TSMC's 5 nanometer processing node. They have huge amounts of cache. They have high clock speeds and they go all the way up to 16 cores and 32 threads. If you want the fastest, uncompromised, most badass and at the same time power deficient CPUs for your laptops, then the Dragon Ring is your best choice. Particularly the 12 core 7845HX and the 16 core 7945HX. These are basically your same exact desktop chips now available for laptops. It also looks like AMD is undercutting Intel's i7 and i9 HX series CPUs and you know at the same time being just as fast as them or in the case of the 7940 HX even faster than the core i9 and also at the same time being much much more efficient. But, but, but there is a big caveat. Even though Zen 4 Dragon Rage particularly is very efficient and far more efficient than Intel's HX series Raptor Lake processors, you cannot expect the same great battery life that you tend to associate AMD laptops with. There's a reason for that. Let me explain. So the main difference between AMD's laptop CPUs in the past and AMD's desktop CPUs is that AMD's desktop CPUs are not monolithic. AMD's desktop CPUs that use the revolutionary Zen architecture is not monolithic and are based on a chiplet design. That is, the CPU is made up of multiple chiplets or core complexes that talk to each other using, you know, a high-speed interconnect that AMD calls as Infinity Fabric. Each core complex houses up to 8 cores 
and so something like a 16 core Ryzen 9 7950X or the 7940HX now is nothing but two 8 core Zen 4 Ryzen 7 7700X CPUs or like let's say a 7745HX CPUs connected together. Along with the CCDs in AMD's chipped architecture, there is a separate I.O. die which can never be switched off. And that is a big issue in laptops. What all this equates to is higher idle power draw. Yes, even though Zen 4 is super efficient and you know, in when during actual workloads, the power efficiency compared to Intel is much better. These chiplet design CPUs have higher idle power draw almost twice that of the previous generation Ryzen 5000 and 6000 CPUs. And that's the reason the battery life on with these Dragon Range CPUs is really bad. Like it's basically on par with Intel or slightly less. So you cannot expect good battery life if you go for these Dragon Range CPUs. This is actually the main reason AMD never actually released any uh, CPU for laptops going beyond eight cores previously because the chiplet architecture is not suited for laptops okay, in terms of endurance. So AMD probably decided like Zen 4 is so much efficient that they can afford to launch chiplet design CPUs for laptops now because the efficiency, you know, is has reached a point that it is kind of sustainable. And you know, the, as I said, the battery life will be kind of similar to Intel's HX series or maybe slightly lower, slightly lower. Not much of a difference between the two. But yeah, again, that battery life advantage with AMD Dragon range, you're not going to find it here. But speaking of battery life advantage, if you want the best combination of battery life and performance, then the 7040HS Phoenix range, that's the one that you should go for. And that is the one that I am most excited for. Phoenix range has sadly been delayed for an April uh, global launch. It was supposed to be in March, but it's been delayed. So we are all patiently waiting for it. These Phoenix range APUs are the real successor to previous generation Ryzen 5000, 6000, uh, 8 series and HX series and HS series parts. These Ryzen 7000, Zen 4, 7040HS Phoenix range CPUs are built on TSMC's cutting edge 4 nanometer node and they are obviously monolithic just like previous generation Ryzen laptop CPUs. So you're gonna get great battery life. These only go up to 8 cores. They have pretty decent high boost clocks but they don't have as much cash as the Dragon range. Okay, but you know these have the RDNA 3 iGPUs and also they have dedicated AI accelerators, these Phoenix range APUs. Also AMD has promised some killer battery life with these Phoenix range APUs and I'm pretty sure that these will improve greatly upon the already great battery life provided by Ryzen 5000 and 6000 laptops. And like I said, these Phoenix range APUs will only go up to 8 cores unlike you know 16 cores that you're gonna get in the Dragon range series. But these 8 Zen 4 cores are bringing considerable improvement in terms of the multi-core performance as well as the single core performance compared to Zen 3. So I think Phoenix range is just the best, you know, combination of performance and battery life. You're going to get similar performance to an i7 13700H, but at less than half the power draw. So performance per watt is the key selling point for Phoenix range. And that is what is most important, according to me, in a laptop. So overall, in terms of CPU, in my opinion, in 2023, you know, eight cores is the sweet spot and so something like a 7840hs or the 7940hs uh, should be a great choice and and probably an ideal choice in terms of price to performance but if you want the best of the best uncompromised performance and yeah you should look for the 12 core 7840hx on the 16 core ryzen 9 7945hx you know these are the these are going to be the fastest and most well, like most powerful uh, laptop CPUs in AMD's lineup and also like overall in terms of the entire laptop CPU landscape for 2023. Lastly, I wanted to talk about thermals. Now, thermals will vary greatly from laptop to laptop. It depends on multiple factors. First of all, it depends on the actual thermal capacity of the cooling solution that is present in the specific laptop that you're looking for. Secondly, you know, the fan curve set by the OEM affects the temperatures a lot. Also, the power limit set by the OEM. So you will have laptops which will be quieter but hotter. And then you may have laptops which will be louder but cooler. 
Also, you may have laptops which are like cool and quiet but perform less. And you may also have laptops which are hot and louder but they are performing considerably faster. So there are a lot of variables at play over here. But there are some thermal characteristics of these Ryzen 7000 Zen 4 CPUs. See, the way AMD has tuned the out-of-the-box behavior for these Zen 4 CPUs, primarily the desktop CPUs and uh, the same thing I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to see with the Dragon Range CPUs because Dragon Range are the same as the desktop CPUs, is that AMD has tuned them to prioritize performance first and foremost while taking full advantage of the thermal capacity of your cooling solution. So basically what I mean to say is that these Dragon Range CPUs are expected to boost as high as possible until they hit that 95 degrees centigrade throttling point. And they're going to use up all your thermal capacity of your CPU. So what, what I mean is no matter how good of a CPU cooler you have, uh, your temperatures will be pretty high because the CPU is tuned to take advantage of that thermal headroom to boost as high as possible. So that's like the out of the box behavior and obviously in laptops, uh, OEMs may tweak that behavior and even the user, the you, like the guys who, the, if you are going to buy such a laptop, uh, you know, such a premium and high end laptop, then obviously you can also tweak the behavior of the CPU. Like you can lower the throttling temperature, you can set power limits, undervolt and all those things you can do. And obviously, you know, control that out of the box behavior. But, you know, expect high temperature, as I said, out of the box, expect high temperatures and also high performance. And also one thing to keep in mind is that even though Ryzen, and especially Zen 4, is much more efficient than Intel, right? The CPUs itself are much more dense. You know, the dies, the CPU dies itself is very, very small, tiny. They are manufactured on a much smaller processing node, you know, by TSMC, you know, 4 nanometer, 5 nanometer compared to Intel's, uh, you know, 10 nanometer processing node. So uh, basically these chips are very tiny and even though that makes these chips extremely efficient in terms of performance, they are not the best in terms of dissipating that heat. Basically the package is very dense and that reduces its capacity to dissipate that heat as efficiently as it can. So yeah, that's all about Ryzen 7000. That's, that's all I had to say about Ryzen 7000 before anybody goes and picks one. You have to be careful on what model you buy, be careful, watch out for the third digit, that's the one that you should look for. You can watch more detailed analysis on Ryzen 7000 in my performance prediction video compared to Intel 13th and Raptor Lake. Yeah, waiting patiently for the ASUS Tough A15 with the Ryzen 9 7940HS and the RTX 4070, hoping that it would be the same price as in the UK which is about £1500 and that would be great if that's the price point that we get it in India as well. That would be the same price as RTX 3070 laptops and just performance would be better. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do like, share and definitely subscribe and turn on notifications. Also, don't forget to join the Telegram community. I'll be waiting for you there. Alright guys, take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.